I'm Lucinda Sison. I'm going to be interviewed by Margie Simpkin, who's a fantastic uh, uh, casting director from America, prolific person. Um, and she'll be interviewing me today about casting. Um, and so I just think it's very interesting because it's strange being interviewed by another casting director. Um, and I think that's a really good idea. I think it's excellent. So I'm looking forward to that. I, I suppose it's a job that's so involved in people and characters and you're constantly between the script and finding characters to actually finding the right people to and actors and actresses to, to fit those roles and then their chemistry and how that all can work and it's a challenge each each and every film is a complete challenge people ask about casting and say well what how do you do casting what is casting and there's no the the only the only continuum if you like is change there's every film is different and um, I always say, actually, if you give one script to five different directors, you will get five different films. So it's, it's, I think it's a, just a fascinating job. But I think the misconception about it is that it's easy. <laughs> I think, you know, that really is the, the biggest misconception. And also that anyone can do it. Uh, and I think when people sort of uh, come up and say, well, you know, I think so-and-so would be a good actor in that role. It's like, yeah. And then they, <laughs> then they realise Hmm, it might not be as easy as I think. But... Well, when I ended the fan club and when I ended working for the Beatles, I thought that was it. And for 40 years, I became a housewife and looked after my dogs and my kids and my husband and got other jobs. And um, then when my grandson came along, uh, my daughter asked me would I just you know, put something down about the Beatles and my life with them. But I, I hadn't really spoken much about them to her, because she's not a Beatles fan anyway. <laughs> and uh, I said, oh, you know, Rachel, I haven't got time to do things like that. And she went, oh, please, Mum, you know, you're getting old and your memory box is fading and you could end up with Alzheimer's and you're going to take this knowledge with you. Oh, do it for Niall. And I'm sure every other grandmother says, well, what you don't do for your kids, you'll do for your grandchildren. So I thought, right, go on then. And I have a friend whose uh, nephew is a documentary maker. Um, and I said, well, I wouldn't mind just sitting on the couch talking, you know, because I'm Irish and I'm good at talking. So uh, that's how it started. So it was originally just going to be a little DVD for my grandson. And, um, Ryan came over, he fitted me in because he's, been made, he's made this film that took him five years and was just finished. So he had two spare weekends and he came over from America to Liverpool for those two weekends and rearranged my lounge and I came home from work in the work clothes, sat on the couch, talked till about 2am in the morning and uh, that's how this DVD was made. I mean, I had no idea that it was going to escalate the way it has. It's great to be here. I mean, to be back in my hometown with this film opening, and it came out last year, but you know, finally, it's it's opening here in the UK and Ireland. It's you know, it's a real it's a real treat for me. You know, it's a new world. Uh, I'm very excited. Let's see what people think. That's what's most important. It's so important. It's really you know, it's incredible, and the effort that's made every year. I've been lucky enough to come along to a lot of the, fe the festivals over the years. The, you know, the amount of effort that's put in, the, the actors that travel from all around the world come over to Dublin for the festival, it's incredible and it's, such, it's so important for this country. We've been very lucky to produce some amazing films over the years and uh, you know, it'd be great to see more happen and I think this is a great incentive. Yeah.